What's happening, everybody? We're back. It's me, your resident supervillain, Mr. J. Washington. I'm Swaggy Blurred, what's today, Marshall? And he's a freeloader here for the season two, episode three review of Harley Quinn on the DC. A freeloader <laughs> for what? What the fuck I do to you? <laughs> oh, the conversation we just had before this thing. You, you, you want to put your business out there? No, because I, I literally just did something to protect <laughs> your ass. Nigga, you just hit me with the, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it with serious, my guy. Uh, dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> B. Let me tell you something. You know some hood dudes who been around the hood. Anytime somebody hits you with the my guy, that's when you know it's gotten serious. It ain't even my dude or my girl. It's my guy. <laughs> that ass, B. My guy. <laughs> if you ain't thinking, I got my tips all today. I'm wearing a fucking jersey. I'm wearing a jersey. I've been being that dress this shit with this nigga all day. So, we're, you know what the deal is. Spoilers. All this shit. The nigga is up by MK82 as the day we record. It's like 82 degrees outside Los Angeles, okay? This nigga 86. Is, I was out in my car as hot as hell. 86 degrees. <laughs> this nigga has on a jersey, <laughs> jogging pants, and Timberlands. Nigga, what you think this is? The Bronx? Like, <laughs> For real? My guy. That is. <laughs> My guy. Oh, man. For those looking for the timestamp, this is where the review starts. Oh, shit. <laughs> we start off with the way the giant ice wall and, and Harley and her crew are trying to get through the shooting bazookas and shit. And two of the, the crew come out and go, yo, you're not going to break through this wall. It's too much. I Like, have you dealt with freeze before? Like, you're not going to do it. The only thing that can stop it is the fire. <laughs> You almost told it that the only thing to stop it is Firefly's flamethrower. Oh, you just said it. And I think you go find it in Dr. Trap's ah! Ah. Hey, if y'all think of anything else, text us. It's a cold open. It's amazing. That's a dope shit. <laughs> no, I'm like, well, check it. Look, just text me everything else you got to give. Like, anything you got to say. And so then we see that Ivy, we see Ivy and uh, Harley floating along. We don't know how they get in there. And lo and behold, it's Kite Man. Hell yeah. <laughs> he, he floated. <laughs> and first of all, I feel for Harley. I understand it. Because she's so sick to death of them niggas loving dumb and shit. He's like, yeah, it's like, she's like, uh, yeah, we got a sushi place. She's like, well, we made a whole bunch of chili. He's like, I think you got to make Y'all make too much goddamn chili. All right, well, we got a crock pot. We want to, like, make sure our investment is worth it. You Did know? you tell her that it was mild? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. I know that feeling, because when I'm around wishing this girlfriend, I'm like, oh, you motherfuckers, don't you motherfuckers going to get some tacos or something? Anyway, so they go... Dead ass, my guy. No. I'm good with the chili at the crib, bro. <laughs> Trying to save some money. My guy, dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, they go to the museum where the shit from Dr. Trap shit is. And they try to get in. They realize, okay, they can't get in. So. Well, they get in there and they, they're like, oh, that's Penguin's umbrella. Yeah, I want right. since so we realize the them. traps. And they realize the traps. By the way, so first of all, Harley thought it was so easy. She had a bat ready. She's like, oh, man, I got smashing blue balls. And so she just decides to smash the statues. They go in. And she's like, oh, shit, they got, he got all this stuff. That's Penguin's umbrella. She's like, it's worth more now that I killed him. So she was like, Throws oh. Throws a coin. That coin gets stabbed, double stabbed. Triple stab and then explodes in the flames. They're like, oh, we ain't gonna be able to we do this. this. No. So you go, so they go to the cafe. Harley enlists to help of someone to help him out. So like she says they. And Ivy was like, why'd you say they? Is it Catwoman? <laughs> <laughs> that was that one at all. That was that whole. Is it this bitch? Yeah. That's what that was. was. Which is which is so funny because you ever in a situation with somebody where you feel very strongly one way about them but the minute they come around you be doing the exact opposite shit you do not keep the same energy like if I see that nigga I'm gonna kill that nigga and then he comes in my nigga yo what's good fam oh, yep, yep. that was Ivy in this case I hate that bitch she's the worst oh my god it's Catwoman this is amazing which by the way so not lazy this Catwoman is everything that is so fucking dope uh, we were talking about this before we started recording what's it brought up a good point about the fact that Catwoman is clearly a woman of color in this. And this could be a nod to what is happening in The Batman, where Zoe Kravitz is playing Catwoman now. Which is kind of dope. Also, shouts out to Lisa Bonet's vagina. It's out here making money hand of, hand of a fist. 
Seriously, my guy? <laughs> Seriously? Zoe Kravitz is making money as Catwoman. Yeah. And Jason Momoa as Aquaman. That's her husband. Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness. I am... So... Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. So... They go with Catwoman. To first of all, to try to break in a thing. And the first part is... Catwoman's kind of thing. And Harley's trying to tell her plan... And Catwoman was like, don't cat splay how to bring it in front of me. <laughs> don't cat splay how to burglar with me. And then the funniest part is when she when she's doing the little glitch. She's like, oh my god, it's her signature move. <laughs> when she pulls it out, then she goes, she throws that shit to the side. So at the same time, back at the mall, Dr. Psycho, King, Shark, and well, Fr- Before we get to that, just don't forget. So Catwoman and Ivy go in. You think Kite Man's left. Kite Man comes back and he goes, I'm well, going to go in. Kite Man said originally, he was like, well, God, ladies, I'm going to go because I don't like traps. Like, not, not only is like do one of my greatest fears, but also he was like, you know, badass woman thing. And you guys want some lattes? Please. Like, I can have them ready for you. But then he actually comes back and tells Harley, like, I'm actually going in to go in and steal this diamond, this leaf-shaped diamond for, for Ivy because I want to propose to her and shit. Aww. Now back to the mall. Go for it. So, Dr. Psycho King, Shark, Frank, and Sid are all there fucking with the Riddler who running. And Dr. Psycho is like, just basically still pissed off, tells Riddler, you motherfuckers could invite me to be in the Injustice League. And Riddler's like, you <laughs> goon, bitch, what did you do? You, you ain't on this level, so Dr. Psycho tried to get in the Riddler head. And for like two seconds, he's like, oh my god, my feeble mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. You can't fucking get me. I'm an A-lister. I'm an A-lister. <laughs> and so Dr. Psycho gets mad and starts throwing all type of bath products at his ass. And just sitting there tossing shit. And so... The, what what I love about this is because I think we forget because he just does it in the form of like riddles and shit. Riddler is smart as fuck. Yes, Edward Name is a genius. No, 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 I know. I'm saying I don't like it's. I'm curious because they don't really talk about him as like nth level whatever. Whenever you're talking about the greater DC universe, like yeah. they, they they talk Luthor, they talk Batman, mm-hmm. they talk uh, uh, not Kid Omega. Is it Kid Omega? The one the one from Japan, the the, the toy man, the Japanese toy man. You yeah, know I think it saying? is. Yeah, they yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. him. But they don't ever really talk about how smart Nick, but Nick was a smart motherfucker, man. I mean, I wonder what level, I get what where when it comes to Luthor's genius intellect and it comes to Batman because of what they're exposed to. Yeah. Like, don't you think if you put the Riddler in that same predicament, he would excel just as well? Yeah, you would think so. I, I You know, uh, Hush is a good example of that. Yeah, Tommy uh, Elliot. Yeah. So, uh, Tommy Elliot, but I'm saying, uh, my bad, the, the Hush movie. The, the movie, yeah. Uh, but the fact that Riddler has done some crazy stuff. Well, what we'll do is, I'm going to bookmark this because we need to finish the review. Let's talk about Blurs in the Hood on Tuesday because this comes out Friday, right? Yes. We'll talk about Riddler on Tuesday and how smart he is. So let's go back and forth. So, well, Because there's different parts back and forth. Basically, after a while in the, in the uh, mall, <laughs> King Shark runs up to Duck the Psycho and goes, The Riddler is missing! <laughs> <laughs> And so Dr. Psycho's like, what do you mean? He's like, he is gone. And, and so King Shark said, well, Harley shouldn't be that mad. And he said, Harley gonna fucking kill me. So basically they're going through the mall trying to find him. Well, by the way, Frank is back. Played by Jay, voice by J.B. Smooth. And Frank is fucking with The funny is when he's fucking with Dr. Psycho, Dr. Psycho starts to choke the shit out of him <laughs> because he's calling Dr. Psycho a little bitch. Also, the running theme of that entire segment in the mall is the babysitter's club. You found the both King Shark and Frank. They were one rock with Claudia, the other rock with Mallory. <laughs> See, I don't know enough about the Babysitters Club to really have found that funny, except for the fact that like they named are, characters. No, 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 no. I know they're picking characters so the same way they're like, I'm a Samantha, or I'm a Miranda, Miranda from yeah. Sex of the City, yes. or like I'm a Molly, I'm an Issa from Insecure. These niggas is out here naming themselves as the Babysitter Club members, so that's funny. So they're trying to find him in the mall, and then you go back and they're doing the whole situation at the uh, the museum for Doctor Trap. So you got. Ivy and Catwoman. Catwoman got her goggles on. She can see every fucking trap, how to get where she got to go. She tells Ivy to follow her. and she Ivy's just like a little schoolgirl. I'm following Selena. I'm following Selena. Just doing the best she can. Well, Catwoman's like, what happened to you? You used to have a clear brand. Like, when was the mm. last time you did some eco-terrorism shit? Like, now you just do whatever Harley does and have a boyfriend and shit? Like, is that is that what you're doing now? She basically starts making her rethink her entire life where it's going now. Like, you used to be that chick and now you... This bitch is basically like that. You used to be that bitch, now you this bitch. It's that it's that weird thing that happens when like you used to roll with your crew all the time and then you go off and like you have like a kid or something and then like, oh come on, hang with us and then you like old oh, man shit, you know what I'm saying? Man, I gotta watch a I gotta watch a unsolved mysteries later. <laughs> 
I gotta, yo, I gotta get home, you know, with the Bachelor finale on and shit. Nigga, I'm watching reruns of the Rockford Files. Like, <laughs> yo, we're, we're watching a, an investigation discovery uh, marathon tonight, so I gotta go home. My homegirl plays the victim. Like, I wanna watch it. <laughs> I mean, I know a whole girl who plays the victim for real in a lot of uh, investigation discovery Get shows. That paycheck, she does because she she's a white woman. So <laughs> we gotta wrap this up. We're almost out of time, bro. We gotta wrap this up. So eventually, we finally get to the area with the the flamethrower. They get trapped in a box, and all of a sudden, he's like, "Nothing can melt through this. Nothing oh, at all." But before we go there, so. Kite Man, I mean, Kite Man and Harley are going to get this ring for Ivy. But there's all these traps, and Harley never gets in them. It's Kite Man. <laughs> Kite Man is getting fucked up. He's getting hit by bees, by arrows, by flames, by Got all sorts of putting shit. Putting nets and shit. Uh, oh, oh, my God, his fear of nets. <laughs> oh, he's like, oh, a net, a kite's worst enemy. Oh, no, a spider web. No, That's no, nature's nets. Yes. This is way say? worse. What did nigga say? It's... He said, the net is the kite's worst hit me beside a mild summer day. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Besides a mild summer day. And so, uh, he gets fucked up by these bees. <laughs> this nigga ends up looking like Thomas J from My Girl. They, and they, <laughs> <laughs> they, they get to the actual flamethrower. As soon as they pick it up, a box starts to close in on him. And he's like, nothing can get through that unless you had plasma. And that's what all of a sudden... They were like, goes, oh, yeah. blows. And he goes, oh, fuck, that would have been good for a trap. Gets out, beat the shit out of Dr. Trap with one swing from a baseball bat. But before bat. she beats the shit out of him, uh, Kite Man is constantly trying to tell Ivy something. And she's like, now's not a good time. Because she knows what he's about to say. He's about to propose. And so by the time he finally gets it out, it's like a six... <laughs> Poison Gertrude Ivy. <laughs> she says, "Will you marry me?" She was like, "I, I can't, I won't, because I don't know if it's a good time. I don't know if it's a good time ever, ever. If I want to get married, and that's essentially what I think sucks about this. And this is kind of where Ivy learns her lesson when they get back to the the lair and they kind of talk it out. Ivy has evolved into something that she actually really enjoys." But she mm. has allowed her friends to try and tell her how to live her life. Because that's ultimately what she gets. Is She got Catwoman whispering in her ear saying, you don't even know who you are. Got anymore. Harley in her other got ear. Got Harley in her other ear like, why are you with Kite Man? You can do better. And so she goes to the dock and decides to do what she what she was known for doing and punishing people that were hurting the economy. So she took the Ace Chemical board members and started dumping the chemical waste on them until they explode. Yo, she so, was murdering them. <laughs> So her and Harley start talking and shit, and she was just like, look, I think ultimately what it comes down to is you just got to be you. Like, whatever mm. makes you happy, whoever you are now, if it's part of who you were and part of who you are, you got you have to be happy with that, and you seem happy with Kite Man. And also, go back to the mall, the Riddler has just been fucking with them the whole time. He escaped on purpose. He is, and then get, gave himself back up. He's like, no, I'm good here. I don't need to go out there. This is the best. I'm in the best shape I've ever been. I get three square I'm meals. Just, I'm good. I'm like, I'm good. Have you seen these calves? Like, <laughs> it was like, you seen this workout? And so basically, it's like, oh, you, you Dr. Psycho's like, you ain't shit. Like, I just can't stand you. So basically, Ivy afterwards, we see Ivy go to Kite Man's house. And Kite Man, still swollen in the face from the bees, is drunker than that thing. And she walks in the door and he's like, I haven't let you know. I'm a lot wasted right now. <laughs> double body, double fistful. So she sits down, he sits down, and she tells him everything. And then she was like, you know what? I think now's the time to ask me. He's like, what? Huh? He starts to sew up. She's like, yeah. I think I'm ready to ask me. You better do it before I change your mind. And that's where the episode ends. I I, I I think it's it's beautiful that it's finally gonna happen. Cause now officially they'll be engaged. Pretty much we can assume that the engagement happens. But I think is it's like will the wedding actually happen? I have a feeling that the wedding will probably be the season finale mm-hmm. as I continue to take over the city. I don't know if they're going to necessarily be able to kill as many of the the villains as they want. So I think people are going to come for revenge at the wedding. If I had to, if I had to foreshadow guess where this is mm. going, that would be my guess. Could you imagine <clears throat> an Ivy and Kite Man having a leafy kitey baby? Just coming out with a leaf as a kite. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> also, I want to know if you paid attention to something I did. Hmm. So in the trailer, one of the biggest things we saw was Harley and Ivy holding hands. It was oh, the scene we finally get together. No, no, no. It was the scene from the dock because originally it was made people to think that because in comics they have developed an actual relationship. So people thought that we were going to see that 
But that was the scene out of the hands, just to show that we're friends. They And they literally said it about being best friends. There was nothing implied in that moment about a relationship as far as it going further. Do you think that may happen, or are we going to steer clear from that in this? I don't think you need to do it. I think you have such a, like, in all honesty, if that was the case, I would be fine with that if they weren't putting her in such a meaningful relationship with yep. Kite Man. I agree. If if <clears throat> if it was a situation where maybe they kept both trying dating dudes and the dudes were assholes, then I can see that. But you're putting you're setting this up so much for such a meaningful relationship where Kite Man is genuinely making Ivy the type of person she wants to be. Mm-hmm. I think it would just be ill advised. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But don't set us up to just rip our heart out like that. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and that was the thing I was bringing up because I know a lot of people automatically in the comments of various videos, even though the trailer, were like, yo, let this happen. Let them do it. And I'm like, I have no problem with it. I was like, I even said it in my trailer review. My trailer reaction, which you can find here on the channel, like, yo, let them do it. But now, like I said, like you just said, with them having her having a relationship, it, there's a thing to it. So, I mean, if you had to get this uh, episode rating on a scale of 1 to 5, bro, what would you give me? 4.5. I really, I really enjoyed the episode. Um, I need to watch it again. Uh, I think, honestly, and I probably will when this drops on Friday, uh, just to kind of reabsorb everything. Uh, but I thought that having Catwoman be a bitch was hilarious. Like, especially the whole like, well, what about your brand? I mean, I didn't see you stealing the jewels. She's like, baby, I'm always stealing the jewels. And she she draped up like the like when that we was first funny. see her walking when she walking through the cafe. Just you don't even see her hand. You just see like it, it looks like a bad jump cut where like all of a sudden you just see the earring and then the earring gone. Yeah, you just see a necklace. The necklace gone. Like just how savage she is at at, at burglar and so. But I, I, I like what they did here. I thought the Riddler escaping and fucking with Dr. Psycho was hysterical. Uh, but 4.5 for me. So, I guess we're doing this shit. I give it a 5. The Riddler... This is going back and forth. This, this, is, this is where we're doing this. Uh, the Riddler messing with them. The, the whole chase through the mall. Frank, again, this took the R level hard and it worked. Again, it's always been an R rated animated show. But the way they do it and where it plays and it works with everything because of what Frank is. Frank's an asshole, but he's funny. You know what I'm saying? And everything else. And then the whole Kite Man and all that stuff. So I, I dug it. But we want to know what you think about it in the comments below. All right? So like, subscribe, click on the notification bell. Are you still rocking with this show? Or can you not wait for the wedded bliss to happen or not? We want to know, all right? Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Mr. J Washington. You see how it's spelled. Join my supervillain squad on Patreon, patreon.com slash Mr. J Washington. Subscribe to the channel here, y'all. Subscribe here. And uh, check out the Man Titan podcast everywhere you get your podcast from. Get you caught up with everything happening in the Marvel and DC. Live action and cinematic universes. This is the Barbershop Talking Nerds. Yeah, get up, uh, you know, at the Swaggy Blurred. That's all the things. It's right there. That's That's everything. That's the... The YouTubes, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Twitters, the Cash App, the Venmo, the 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 Patreon, all of that. You want to find me? Just type in at the Swaggy Blur. How that, old are you? <laughs> my God, <laughs> I'm all ages. My God, that ass. <laughs> Nigga, everything was the YouTubes. <laughs> the, the minute you on the internet, not even the internet. <laughs> Like, for real, my guy. My guy. <laughs> so, listen, well, I'll let you Lex week, y'all be. All right, B? Y'all be easy. Dead ass. All right, dead man. ass. Blur to the hood. Make sure you subscribe. Hey, my dead guy. ass. Dead my ass. My guy. Tuesday Live, B. My guy. My girl. My girl. Get <laughs> that, your shit together. Dead ass. <laughs> Bye.